the main thing that I want to talk to you about here, though, and this is something that I believe really sets layout apart, is scrapbooks. Scrapbooks and layout really make life a lot easier by collecting all the graphical elements, notes, line weights, etc., that you want to use across all of your projects into one accessible drag and drop location. Let me show you how. First of all, make sure you've got the scrapbooks tray open by going to window and selecting scrapbooks. When you open this up, you can see that there are a series of scrapbooks already loaded into layout. Let's choose TB plane for now. And if we go to drawing references, we can simply drag and drop a drawing title onto the page. Once the object is on our sheet, we can do whatever we like with it. They, these are just groups of lines and shapes and text and work much the same way as groups do in SketchUp. If we double click to open the group, you can see that we can edit the text. We can also adjust the length of the line if we want, etc. etc. We simply escape to get out of that group. There are also other graphical elements you can put on your drawings, such as a scale bar, grids, etc. Section callouts, and these are all simply drag and drops that can quickly be edited you can also edit the scrapbooks themselves by clicking on this edit button here which opens the scrapbook in a separate window any changes you're making here will be saved to the scrapbook so once you go back to your drawing set you'll see that those changes have been reflected in what we have available it's important to understand that scrapbooks are actually just layout files that have been saved as scrapbooks. You can easily create your own scrapbooks and I'd encourage you to do this by opening a blank file in layout, file, new. Doesn't really matter what size page, let's just choose A4 landscape for now. Okay, another good tip here is if you've got a large collection of CAD blocks that you've used in your previous AutoCAD life or also another software package. You can bring them into your new scrapbooks very simply. We go to file, insert, and let's choose this double bed. Model space only because that's generally how CAD blocks work. Here we have a one to 9.42 double bed. If we right click, scale, and let's set that to one to 50 because that's the drawing scale that we're working at. You might also want to copy this by selecting and dragging and holding down the option or the control key and setting it for a different scale, say one to 100 for different drawings. So now we've got our bed in here. Let's save our scrapbook file, save a scrapbook and let's just call it quick start. If we go back to our drawings and look at our scrapbooks, you'll see now we've got our quick start scrapbook. We can select our 1 to 50 bed, just drag and drop and then rotate into place and there we have it. I'll leave you to finish off your layout drawings and annotate them as you see fit but hopefully you can start to appreciate the time-saving potential that using scrapbooks alone can have on your production workflow. Anything repetitive such as blocks of notes, graphics, title blocks, even standard details can be used in scrapbooks and simply be dropped into place as required.